Nicole Wallace, MSNBC political analyst and a former communication director to President George W. Bush, just spoke with Jeb Bush at his parents' compound in Kennebunkport, Maine. Nicole, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, for this fir Thanks, these first Andrew. comments from Jeb Bush on camera about Donald Trump and this year's campaign, I want to play a little bit of your extraordinary conversation. Trump, you know, to his credit, was very smart at exploiting these kind of opportunities. He's a master at understanding how the media works, more than anybody I've ever seen in politics. And kudos for him for kind of creating the environment and then manipulating the environment to his effect. The tragedy of this, though, is that there isn't going to be a wall built, and Mexico's not going to pay for it, and there's not going to be a ban on Muslims. None of that is, this is all like a alternative universe that he created. The reality is that's not going to happen. And people are going to be deeply frustrated, and the divides will grow in our country. And this extraordinary country, still the greatest country in the face of the earth, will continue to stagger instead of soar. And that's the heartbreaking part of this, is I think people are going to really feel betrayed. Nicole, uh, how, how bittersweet is this, or oh, perhaps more bitter than sweet, for him to be watching this uh, coronation, if you will, of Donald Trump? And a change in the party you know, that he's known. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we're actually, I have to say, we're not on the compound. We're, we're in the neighborhood. We're a few doors down. But what was so striking to me as someone who's worked for the Bush family, it is abundantly clear to Jeb Bush that the party was in the mood for something very different. And unlike his father's loss of the presidency in 92, which he talked about, and Jeb Bush's first loss when he first ran for governor, he really sees his candidacy as, as you know, he sees himself he was the wrong man at the wrong moment for the Republican Party. He is temporarily dead, which I thought was just a stunning admission from someone who tried to make a go at it, ran a campaign around ideas, and ran into a brick wall named Donald Trump. And, Nicole, what we now see is uh, Donald Trump, of course, zeroing in on a potential running mate. Uh, General Mike Flynn, uh, possible Trump vice presidential policy uh, possibility, mm -hmm. now telling Jennifer Griffin at Fox today that he is against abortion after only this weekend um, saying that he was in favor of choice. And, of course, that created what? a ruckus with a lot of people saying that that would eliminate him. How do you figure this? Well, it reminded me exactly of Donald Trump's position on abortion. Donald Trump was a strong advocate for a woman's right to choose. He continues to be a defender of Planned Parenthood and the health care services they provide. And if Donald Trump wants retired General Mike Flynn, he's going to pick him. I don't think his positions, even though they are now uh, across the board on reproductive rights are going to stand in the way. But I think that what, what people who know they're being vetted sometimes do is they try to wiggle around and make themselves more acceptable to the party space. But I think Donald Trump, um, if, if this is who he has his sights on, this is who he will pick. And, and to me, I, I, I know we're sort of discussing him as though he's a wild card. I think if Donald Trump makes a decision that he wants to make, he will pick somebody with more risk than a Mike Pence. But I think if Donald Trump make makes the kind of decision that he's probably being counseled to make by people like Paul Manafort, perhaps by his family, by his three oldest children and his son-in-law who are advising him, we'll see him select someone like Mike Pence. So I think what we will learn from this decision is, is whether he's being influenced from the people who want him to make a safe, a politically prudent choice, or whether he's going to pick someone who's been a real partner in this candidacy, somebody like Chris Christie, or another wild exactly. card like himself, someone like General Flynn. Nicole Wallace, thank you so much for the first, this first glance at uh, the Jeb Bush interview and make sure, of course. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.